Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. If you live in the States and you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope that you have had a great day with your family and loved ones. In light of Black Friday, of course, that also is celebrated in the United States, Waves Audio just released a brand new plugin. This plugin is called Lo-Fi Space. It's a combination of delay or echo and also two reverbs and it also includes some lo-fi or low fidelity right like saturation and that analog sound in this video i'm gonna walk you through very quickly on the installation process since some people asked about it they don't know how to install them exactly also i am gonna check out all of the features and controls showing you of course some examples on how i would use this uh, plugin on a mix so this is a limited promotion for black friday by Waves Audio, I suggest you that if you like the plugin, go ahead and check it out right away because it will end very soon. I am hoping that it will end probably by the end of next um, Cyber Monday. All of the applicable links are going to be down below in the description and first comments. And don't forget to check out the timestamps as well that I leave you down below. Before we dive into the content, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some cool freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some free tools available, a huge collection of guitar impulses, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So now, let's get straight into the video. This is the website where you're going to be directed to download the plugin. In case that you previously entered to get the notification of this free plugin, you probably received it by now. But if you haven't, you put your email here and maybe it could happen that the website is down or something. In the morning of Black Friday, it was very, very hectic. The website was down for hours. Of course, it was because a lot of people are trying to get it. So anyway, I think it's more stable now. And you put your email address here. You're going to get an email address where you have a license. You have a button here that you click on it and it will take you to the website of Waves Audio where you redeem this license of course you need to create an account here at the website or enter in your existing account in order for you to be able to activate it on your daw if you are not previously a waves user you need to download the waves central if you are a user of waves plugins you are gonna have this already so you go to waves central enter with your credentials there under in my products you are gonna have this plugin the lo-fi space ready to activate and install it once you do this, you are ready to use it on your DAW. There's no need for additional activation. Now let's move on to my DAW to check it out in depth. You could divide this plugin into three sections mainly. So first, let's start here with uh, the upper part of the plugin, the echo section or the delay. You have a time here of the delay. And of course, it can be linked to the amount that you set here. For instance, you have three modes for the delay to follow the BPM. In this case, 160, you can double click and change it here. Here, if you set it in host, it will follow whatever you have here on your DAW. Here, MS, you are free to put the amount of milliseconds or seconds. Pretty useful. I like to have more control over the delay so i like to use it like this i'm going to show you how i calculate the echoes and delays here of course if you have the correct tempo on your daw session you can put it here on host 160 you can choose different timings of the delay based on that tempo then you have a feedback level which is set in percentage where you can set how much percentage of the delay decay will be heard over time if you set it at maximum the delay pretty much will be heard without non-stop then you have this switch which is very useful at least to me i love ping pong delay so pretty simple and then you have the level control which is like a mix knob to set the dry and wet signal the more you increase this knob the more echoes you send to the dry signal you can turn off and turn on the echo here then we move on to the reverb section you can turn on and turn off the reverb as well so first of all you have two different types of reverbs here a spring reverb and a plate 
reverb. These types of reverbs doesn't sound very, very natural. So I would use these reverbs, for instance, on vocals and also on lead guitars or clean guitars also very cool but to be honest for instance on drums and of course i'm gonna check it out later on drums they doesn't sound very good because it's not a natural sounding room plate and spring reverbs were created artificially right they are not like uh how would you hear an instrument in a physical space so you can choose one of the two types of reverbs here you have the length in seconds or milliseconds right it is very important that we set this time correctly as well i'm gonna show you how and the level knob is for the dry wet signal all the way to the left you're not gonna be hearing reverb to the right more reverb on the dry signal so you can combine these two effects very simple then we move on to the last part of the plugin where you have the filters the stereo width and a mix knob very useful to have high pass and low pass filters on reverbs and delay plugins i always use filters on my reverbs and delays to make them blend in the mix better this knob will spread the delay or reverb signal in the stereo spectrum if you have it in 10 all the way up the reverb will be in mono right in the center it will not spread any signal to the sides and then the more you decrease this knob the more stereo it becomes the reverb or echo signal all the way to the left you have a completely stereo openness and very useful a general mix knob for all of the processing that's going on right so for instance you could have this at 100 percent both of the effects but ultimately this mix knob will decide how much of the full processing will be applied to the dry signal very cool you can lock also this knob now let's check them out in some elements in a mix and also show you how i would use this type of plugins so first before i start to play with the plugin i like to set the correct timing of the delay and reverb i use a very simple equation to calculate exactly the time that will be synchronized with my song grab a calculator and put 60,000, which is the amount of milliseconds in a minute and you divide it by the bpm of your session of your song in this case 160 this amount 375 are the milliseconds and we can use on our reverb and delay timings this amount or multiply this amount by two by four or divide this amount as well the timing will be related to this number right these are the settings by default so first i am gonna set here the delay time i am gonna put the amount 375 so if this timing doesn't work with my song i could use double this amount or also i could use four times this amount so we can experiment so let's start playing here on these vocals Also, the plugin itself has a built-in saturation and lo-fi, which gives very cool character to the delay. As you can hear when I put the mix knob all the way to 100, you will listen to the vocals a little bit distorted. So pretty cool because that makes those delays blend better with the rest of the mix and also with the main vocals. It separates a little bit the delays from the dry signal.
Now let's move on with the reverb alone and then we're gonna combine both effects, which is very, very useful to have both effects combined. So here I'm also gonna be setting this amount based on the equation. So I could put, for instance, let's start here with 750 milliseconds. So that would be right there. If this doesn't work or I don't like how it sounds in a mix, I'm gonna choose the double this amount so on and so forth. For instance, 750 times 2, 1,500, right? Let's try it in these vocals. Then I'm going to be checking out both types of reverbs. Evil of nature, by man. And darkness laughing, taking what it can. Let's try, for instance, 1.5. Now I can combine these two effects using these knobs here now that I have the correct tempo and then use the high pass filters and low pass filters and this option right so that you can hear what they do to the signal. I'm going to solo the vocals. I'm going to start increasing these knobs here. Evil of nature. Let's check it out in context of the mix one more time. Please let me know down below in the comments, my friends, what are your thoughts on this brand new plugin by Waves Audio? Are you gonna try it? Let me know. I'll be more than glad to hear about your thoughts. Before we go, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnonhunter.com. I have some cool freebies for you, some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, I have some free tools available 
a huge collection of guitar impulses among other utilities and finally don't forget to check out my blog and this channel which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Thank you very much for watching the video, thanks for your time, I appreciate it very much. I'll see you very soon on the next one, alright? Take care.